So somebody wanted to know about the clover leaf field. And a clover, as you know, you've been to Ireland, it's like a shamrock, it's got three little leaves like this. But sometimes if you're really lucky, you find a four leaf clover. And a four leaf clover is lucky because it's rare, but it, really it's a mutant. So a four leaf clover is what we're looking for in a clover leaf on the Humphrey visual field. And the reason the clover leaf forms is the first four points that the machine tests for in the automated perimetry threshold testing uh, for the Humphrey are called the seed points. So these first seed points are the first points tested within each quadrant that will determine the threshold for the rest of the quadrant. And so those are the first four points tested in the field. And if so, if someone is doing the test in the beginning of the test and they're doing it right, they'll get tested for threshold at these four points. But if they drop the clicker or they fall asleep or they start eating a hot dog or they, they just don't want to do the test anymore, then the rest of the field will become black. But the seed points will remain white. And what that will do is it'll create blackness surrounding the seed point, which will look like a four leaf clover. So this clover leaf field tells you it's a not reliable field because the patient didn't do the field. They only were awake and alert for the first four points of the test. And it produces non-physiologic field loss because the nerve fiber layer in the eye is arcuate in shape and respects the horizontal meridian. And so nerve fiber layer defects can't make a clover leaf. The only thing that can make a clover leaf is this artifact. And that we call a clover leaf field. And it's definitely not lucky.